Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. The last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and we started our search for Gordy because Lotta won't tell us anything unless we find out where Gordy is or if he's even real. And then so today we're going to go ahead and learn about Gumshoe's secret weapons because he's going to help us in the hunt for Gordy. Okay give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile. M missile? He's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile, missile, here boy. Here he is. Hey, he's cute. Look, Nick, cute dog. Cute dog. This will help us, how? He's adorable. Uh, quick trivia, I may be wrong on this, but I think that that dog is based off of uh, the director for this game, Shu Takumi's dog. Next, secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please. I'm already overwhelmed by your choices. Secret weapon number three. A metal detector. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. Are we supposed to find this with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. It all seems so perfect. I can't make up my mind either. For the totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. You can actually choose to borrow all of them, so I'll just be going through the line of these and showing you all of the different outcomes that happen. Can we borrow a missile? Sure thing, pal! Be good to him! He's so cute! Oh boy. Nick, I think you mean good boy. Let's go out hunting for Gordy. Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, oh, right. A little creature of yours. Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy. Good boy. What's wrong, Missile? Eek! Missile! Missile! Whoa, stop that thing. Cannibal, it's eating my samurai dogs. My samurai dogs. <laughs> wow, he ate every single one. I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry? Sorry, don't pay my bills, Nick. <laughs> it's going to have to this time. I'm going to have to put a... a uh, Flashing lights warning, because Jesus. Do we have any more talk options or? Yeah, it seems missile isn't going to help, so let's head back to the police department. Secret weapons. Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? Mm, yes, sir, pal. But I have to take back the last one I lent you. Department policy. Well, take your pick. Which will it be? Can we borrow that flimsy-looking fishing pole? Sure thing, pal. Oh, if it breaks, be sure to dispose of it properly, okay? Uh, right. Borrowed fishing pole from Detective Gumshoe. December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. Hmm. Okay, Nick, this looks like a good spot. A good spot for what? Time to do some fishing. She's serious. Um, what are you gonna use for bait? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I figured something like this would happen. Should have brought Missile along with us, too. 
At least then we'd have some bait. Nick, how could you? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oof, some jokes are best left untold. Oof, she hit me. Okay, watch this, Nick. Just try not to reel in any empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go. Ah, my leg. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, Lotta. Don't tell me y'all are on some film company's payroll. Nick, payer. Dear, dear. Uh, we'll pay her later. Gord Lake Public Beach. So yeah, that was dark. Secret weapons. Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? I think we've already, yeah. The metal detector. Can we borrow that metal detector? Sure thing, pal! I'm not sure what we're going to find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything! Borrowed metal detector from Detective Gumshoe. December 26th, Boat Rental Shop. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all. Probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Nick! It's beeping! The metal detectors found something! Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be one of in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Nick! Look! Huh? An air tank. Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. My, uh, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. Uh, huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags? Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Picked up air tank of dubious value. So if you'll notice about the air tank, is that it has strings wrapped around it, which are the, uh, which have the same flags that Larry has right here. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. Must be a coincidence. There's strings of flag everywhere these days, like elementary schools and used car dealerships. Look, why would I need that tank anyway? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Inflate what? What else? The big puffy steel samurai. Now why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always use was on the fritz. So, like, I tried using the tank to inflate it just once, and, uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a bit more descriptive? Specific? Come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us. Tell us. Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said. The compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the steel samurai up with it. And then... The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Get it? Flying air tank. Um, 
So the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill flew up, flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th, a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Kiyonsei gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Whoops, wrong thing. A lot of cameras staring out at the lake as usual. Even a novice like me can tell the camera must be pretty penny. Hope she doesn't leave it out here to get stolen. What happened? I heard something in today's trial, that's for sure. This will find a serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? Huh? Gordy? Oh, we found him already. What? I haven't seen him any monsters yet. Y'all for real? Gordy really exists? Wait, I need proof. You got, you got a photo? Of course I have proof. Oh fair, Nick. It was when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? That's when you made contact with Gordy. Enough jabbering already, let's see your proof. Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. Hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the Steel Samurai? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lada. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lada. Tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops talking. Cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental shop up the path there. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just like. I figured it wouldn't be much use of evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Second link photo added to the court record. Bye now. Y'all take care. 
Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lada. It's all Larry's fault. Legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all the all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. <laughs> Anyways, to the boat rental shop. December 26th, boat rental shop. Hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be any... Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. I guess that makes sense. Well, let's go check it out anyway. I guess I'll go ahead and move. Caretaker Shack. December 26th, Caretaker Shack. Meg, is that you? Eek! Hey, Jackie, with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Y yes Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. The pasta shop? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make the old man proud. You kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep up this place when an old man like me? Polly, you kids are home. Hello, hello, squawk! Nick, what was that? Parrot, one on the perch. Kick! Yes? I'll leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Shunny. Nick? What's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's really isn't it, Polly? Hello! Hello! Squawk! Yep. asleep. I guess he's relieved. While he's asleep, let's go ahead and check around the place. If anyone, maybe it's like a translation thing, but can anyone tell me why, like, the old man's name says uncle? Like, maybe it's a weird, like, translation from Japanese, but it's never really made sense to me. Looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like the type who'd keep things up keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello. He ignored me. What, you forgot, Mig? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello, hello, squawk! She? Neat, so the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added to the court record. Too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> oh, Polly can say lots of things. Just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. That's a great idea. We should do that at our office. We can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what, talk about murders? Ah, you're a party pooper, Nick. Well, there's lots of various fish in Gourd Lake, aren't there? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Look, a little safe. Hmm. It's locked. Wow, he has a television in here, too. Pasta restaurant. Um, a pasta shop? Uh, yep. You should wet noodle live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know. 
So that makes you two the third generation. Meg. Yes? Tomorrow we'll start the secrets of dough tossing. Dough tossing? You two, Keith. Yes? You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler? The West? Isn't pasta from Italy? Meg! Yes? You know the best pasta is always made in the West of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course. Everyone knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep this this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What you talking about? This here's the Palace of Pasta, the wet noodle. Yes, now that you mention it, we haven't got many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride one in, in one of your boats. Let's try to keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, darn if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. This old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. Hush, my memory's gotten worse as of late. That's why I just tell everyone everything important to old Polly over there. Everything important? Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight, squawk! All right. Hey, Polly, watch you, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. A criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. So, interestingly enough, for the third time this case, our attorney's badge is actually important. Is that a lawyer's badge? Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Hey, yep, I got you figured out now. You're that quiche! Nick, now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir, no, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg, either. We're investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Mm, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. Well, what's that? This case is over and done. You'll run to wet noodle. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my girl. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg. Yes? <laughs> you bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. Now, what is it you want to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello! Hello! Squawk! Uh, now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Uh, yep, I've seen this. You know something about this, sir? Okay. Yes? It's okay. You could call me Dad. Dad? You know something about this? Uh, yep. The other night, out on the lake. Yes? Yes? I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you take over the shop and all. And we'll go ahead and get to learn more about this in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what else this boat shop caretaker knows. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!